Hey friends, Sleepy here and welcome to a new pickups video. Got a lot of great stuff to share with you guys today. Everything in today's video is the stuff I received for my birthday. My birthday was last month on January 14th and I received a few gifts but I mostly got uh, money and gift cards from uh, friends and family. My parents got me, uh, gave me some money, my wife gave me some money, uh, a few co-workers gave me some money, my brother gave me money and I also got a gift card from my uh, wife's parents to my favorite uh, game stores that we have here by the uh, house. Also, is, which is really great, is my uh, local game stores run a loyalty program that you have a card and every time you spend money there, you actually earn money back into your account, so kind of like a cash back thing. And so I had $35 saved up in that. And then also they have, uh, during the month of your birthday, you get a 20% off coupon that you can use on one entire purchase. So I bought a bunch of stuff and I was able to save 20% on everything I got at the game store. So I got a bunch of great stuff to share with you guys. I also got some more uh, games. I uh, went to the family video that my wife got me for uh, my birthday. So we'll start off here with the stuff from uh, family video. Uh, a few family videos that are left in my area are almost pretty much uh, sold out of everything. As soon as they are, they'll be closed down. So, you know, it's really sad seeing family video closing after being open for over 40 years. I've been going to them uh, since 2004, so I've been going to them for like 17 years, so I'm going to really miss them. I love buying games from them, renting stuff, that kind of thing, but I did find some more Xbox One games for the collection that I did not have, and they were all priced, I believe, at uh, 10 bucks. So the first one we got was Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, which I do like Dragon Ball. I never played this one. Looks fun. Figured I'd pick it up. It's also in pretty good condition, too, so that's great. Uh, next up we have the Dead Island uh, Definitive Collection, two complete games. Contains all additional content plus a bonus game, Retro Revenge. So that looks pretty cool because I did love the Dead Island series. So I do like having these uh, remasters on the new consoles. We got that. Another one here is um, Agony. I remember hearing things about this. Never did much research on it. I figured for 10 bucks I'd give it a try to see how it is. <laughs> looks pretty weird, but we'll see how that is. Uh, next up for 10 bucks we got Devil May Cry uh, 5, which I do love the Devil May Cry series. I've never played number 5, so I was happy to get that one. Uh, next up here we got uh, Stardew Valley. This is the collector's edition, which includes um, Pelican Town Map, Mini Guidebook, and Stardew Valley Soundtrack. Now, one of the other family videos had this, but it was missing all the extra content. This one that we had went to has the uh, book, the little guidebook, has the map. And then it also has ah, the little soundtrack in there. So I was so happy that it was complete with everything. And for 10 bucks, because I had uh, played this game on the PS4. My brother uh, this sold the PS4 to me. He had a digital copy on there. And I kind of like this game, so I figured I'd get it for the Xbox One. So that was cool. And the last game we got from there is... Uh, the Lego Movie 2 video game, which I've never watched the movie. We like the original one. I played through the original game. I love these uh, Lego games. So I figured I'd get it for the collection because it was only 10 bucks. Because this is still going for $30 at my local game store. So, so happy with that one as well. Uh, I got one thing I got from my uh, work. And this is just got it for my collection. It was uh, $3, but I get a discount there. So I say 15% on that. And it was just... Uh, Super Mario 32 Valentines with 32 stickers. So just got this for the uh, collection, which I remember having uh, Mario Brothers 3 um, Valentines as a kid in the 90s. So I do remember those. So that was kind of cool to see that they have them again. So pretty cool little gift there. Uh, we got one thing. One buddy at uh, work uh, gave me some money, but he also gave me a $20 eShop uh, gift card because he wanted me to buy this game Hades on... Uh, the Nintendo Switch, which I haven't had time to go on there yet to buy it, but I will do that. So that was really cool to get that gift. Uh, we'll go with the one thing I got off of uh, eBay, which my brother uh, knew I was looking for this, and he actually found the listing for it, and he shared it with me and told me, hey, you can you know buy this now. And it was for the Prey Strategy Guide for the new 2017 game that I've been playing my Xbox One. And it's really cool is it came with a cool... A mouse pad so I don't know if this is like a pre-order bonus or something for like the PC version or something but it came with a uh, mouse pad that's pretty cool so I like that it also has all uh, the collectible cards there's like uh, six of them in there 
and of course the strategy guide itself the hard cover you know, i love these hard cover collector's editions full of great information you know full of great information great detailed maps and stuff to help you with the game which is just why i love uh, these uh, strategy guides they always enhance the game and i'm glad that i got this because this has actually been helping me with uh, playing prey and i got this i think it was like about 35 dollars ship because you, know, you got to pay for you got to buy the item you got to pay for shipping and of course now you have to pay tax and stuff online which kind of sucks you know i remember i loved being able to buy stuff online and not having to pay tax but of course now the government makes you have to pay tax so now you have to spend a little bit more extra money when you buy stuff online so I got that, and I'm so happy for that. It was such a wonderful thing to get, uh, thanks to my brother. So that was awesome. And now we'll go over stuff I got at the uh, game stores. Got a couple little things here. The first stuff is a promotional item. Uh, Nintendo, you know, has, like, they used to have, like, that Club Nintendo, but now they have, uh, you earn these uh, coins. There's platinum coins and gold coins, and you can use that to buy stuff, and they now have physical rewards. Well, they actually had a Mario zipper pouch, at the game store for five bucks and this was 800 uh, coins but it's been sold out and i always wanted to get one so i'm so happy to get that for five bucks i uh, got a uh, ds case here was eight dollars it's a little uh, mario overalls so i have plenty of ds consoles but not all of them have uh, cases so i'm going to stick the uh, ds in this one which i think this might fit a ds light i'm not sure but uh still glad to have that so that's pretty cool let's see what else we got I guess I can go over a couple of the strategy guides I got there. And like I said, so remember everything I mentioned the price wise, if I can remember what I paid for them, was 20% off that price. So the first stuff we had was by the editors of Consumer Guide Strategies for Nintendo Games. So this is pretty cool. Old stuff about old Nintendo games, which I love stuff like this because this was the kind of stuff that I had when I was a kid. And I love these kind of things. So this is pretty cool. This was eight bucks, like I said, but I got that 20% off. And then they had another one to go with it. Nintendo Strategies had a win at. And this little red one. And I'm pretty sure that these were from yep, 1989. So <laughs> over 30 years ago. So pretty cool. This one was also uh, 8 bucks. Like I said, I got the 20% off. So that was cool. Uh, the one guy actually uh, that was working there actually threw in this strategy guy for free. He's like, oh, hey, it's your birthday. Here, you can just have this as a birthday gift from me. So that was really cool. And that was the Mass Effect Andromeda Collector's Edition strategy guy, which is cool. I do know there's like a white one that comes with some different stuff. But I was just happy to get this because it's another game that I had been playing this year. And once I resume playing it, you know, this is definitely going to help me with playing that game. So, so happy to have that. And that was a sweet gift to get from that uh, guy there just because it was my birthday. So that was cool. Enjoyed that. Oh, this next one I was so excited to see because I have been wanting to get this for a while. And it's a pretty uncommon strategy guide to find. They never have it locally. They just happen to have a, someone turned in a bunch of strategy guides. And this is one of them. And it was only 10 bucks, like I said. But I also got that 20% off. And I got the Mafia strategy guide, which is amazing. These Mafia strategy guides are very hard to get. I want to get the uh, number two. And I do want to get Mafia three as well. But it's in such great condition. The person took care of it. It has... Uh, everything in there all kinds of detail mats for going through the game and playing and stuff and just so happy to have the uh mafia strategy guy now i've been wanting this for quite a while and usually online people want 30 and 40 bucks for it if you can find it so that was a great find also got here uh xcom enemy unknown this one was uh five dollars really good condition so definitely help me when i go back to play through the xcom series uh, this next one I was uh, happy to find was only 10 bucks, and it is the Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus Collector's Edition. Now, it doesn't have the bonus, um, like, collectible card or something that came with it, but, you know, that's not a big deal. I can always try to track it down later, but I do want to eventually start playing this game, which I have not played this one yet. Heard really good things about it. I have the uh, Collector's Edition of the game that I got for, like, $30 brand new at GameStop couple years ago and so now i have the collector's edition strategy guide for it which is awesome because when this was originally released i think it was like 40 or 50 bucks so to get this for 10 plus with the 20 percent off so basically eight dollars hell of a deal on that another one we got here was the halo wars 2 collector's edition guide this was priced to eight bucks and i got that um 20 off so this is another one that'll come in uh handy love this halo wars 2 game i rented it but never beat it so i still need to buy a copy of it so i can actually go back 
play through the campaign and complete that. So I got the strategy guide for when I do get that, and that'll come in handy. I was so excited for these next three because I've been looking for them for a while. They're hard to find locally and online. You know, they get between like $10, $15, and $20 a piece. And that is the Bioshock uh, strategy guides. And I happened to see that they had number two. And the guy's like, oh no, we have all three. Somebody just traded it in. And I go, oh, I'll take all of them. So first one I got here was 10 bucks. But like I said, I got the 20% off. We have Bioshock one in great uh, condition. This actually did help me um, complete this game because I actually just uh, beat this uh, recently on the Xbox One uh, collection, you know, the remastered one. So this came very handy for me for finding collectibles and stuff. So that was a great grind there for 10 Next one we got is Bioshock 2. It was uh, $6, but I got the 20% off. This one's also coming in handy for me as I'm playing through number two now on the collection of Xbox One. Loving the game and this strategy guide is awesome, and I do like it, if you can see, like it looks like it's kind of water damaged. It's not. That's actually how the cover was made to make it look like the, the it was underwater since the game takes place underwater. So I thought that was awesome. And then the last one there was Bioshock Infinite for $8, but 20% off. And all of these are like new condition, and these all came from the same collector. He turned in a huge collection of like 400 uh, strategy guides. The local store only kept uh, 30 of them, and they sent the rest to their warehouse. And then they're going to distribute them among all their uh, stores so that all the stores can have a chance to have some of them. So that was so cool that I was able to get some of these good ones. And all the rest of them they had, there were ones I already had. So very cool. So happy to get those strategy guides. That was awesome. Well, let's see. We'll move on to the games. And then I got one big thing that I uh, picked up there. So first up here for uh, $8.00. I got a copy of Golden Sun Dark Dawn for the DS. I always wanted to get this. I saw it one time before for 10 and I wanted, I didn't grab it and I went back the next day and it had sold and this one is complete. So looking forward to checking that out. It's an RPG. For uh, PS Vita, this was $20 and it was Soul Sacrifice. I've heard very good things about this. People who recommended this to me since I got a Vita, they said you should get it if you can find it. Like I said, it was 20 bucks, but I also got the 20% um, off. So about $4 off, so not bad. And that is complete with everything in there. I was able to find one PSP title, which, you know, I'm still working on building up that PSP library. Uh, this is a Transformers game, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, which I love these Transformer games. They're so fun. This is $6, but I also got, you know, that 20% off. Definitely want to see how this is because I beat this on Xbox 360, but I'm not sure if the PSP version is the same game or maybe different because usually the handheld ports are a little different. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. Got a couple more Xbox One titles, and I picked up this uh, next title on a suggestion from my buddy Dean over from Escape to Gaming. Uh, he was talking about, we've been talking with each other, and he was telling me that he got this game with all the DLC, and he was going to play through it. And so I thought I'd give it a try, and that is Homefront The Revolution. This was $8. I got the 20% off. It came with this uh, pre-order bonus code in there, and it was not redeemed, so I was able to redeem that, and I got all that. And then when I went to actually install the game... Uh, the Microsoft Store came up and said, hey, we have uh, the digital version of this on sale for $5.99 that comes with everything because I was looking into getting the DLC pack because there's actually extra content for this. But the DLC like season pass thing is $15 or because it's 85% off or something, you could get the game and all the DLC content for $6. So I said, <laughs> I'll get that for 6 bucks." So I bought that and now I have the complete version of Homefront Revolution, which I love the old Homefront that was on uh, Xbox 360. I know a lot of people hate it on it and stuff, but I loved it. And I've heard mixed things about this, but, you know, I love first-person shooters, and I definitely want to try this one. And like I said, my buddy Dean was talking about it, so I definitely, you know, he doesn't just pick up and play shitty games, so I definitely want to give it a try. Uh, so thanks for uh, talking about that, Dean. Definitely looking forward to checking that out. Uh, next up, I got uh, for $15, but I also had, you know, like I said, 20% off. I got the Mega Man Legacy Collection number one because I got uh, number two for Christmas, so I wanted to get the first one. And this has Mega Man's one, two, three, four, five, and six. All six classic games from the NES are here, and it has the little uh, collectible um, Mega Man track download thing. And then it also has this cool little sheet talking about all the uh, robot masters. So I thought that was pretty cool. So. So happy to have now the complete Mega Man Legacy Collection. Now I just need to get the Mega Man uh, X Legacy Collections 1 and 2 for the Xbox One. And I'll have all the different Mega Man games. So that was really cool to get. 
I got one PS2 game. Now, I had never heard of this game before. It just looked kind of cool. Uh, it was $12. Got 20% off, and it is called Warship Gunner 2. In really good condition. Unfortunately, it was missing a manual. Now, when I went on to look on my phone on eBay, like, oh, how much would it be to get a manual? This game is must be pretty uncommon or rare because people were wanting 40 50 60 70 and 80 dollars for a copy of this and then i did find out that there is a number one but it's called naval ops warship gunner uh just looks pretty cool because you get to fight with navy stuff it says you can invest in new technologies to develop a full spectrum of artillery systems aircraft ships ship hulls propulsion electronics over 1,000 vital components in all so engage in deadly sub to sub stealth warfare Pilot pre-built warships or design your own fleet of destroyers and submarines. Targets day or night, even in adverse weather with advanced heads-up display from Koei. It's just cool. So like a um, naval battling game. So I just thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> just realized I stumbled onto an uncommon game, which I do sometimes find that my local game stores don't always price stuff, you know, at the eBay prices. Or sometimes, you know, I'll find a game, someone's like, you know, that's a $100 title you just got for $8. Like, you know, they don't look up a lot of stuff always. So you do sometimes uh, find some good deals. So I'm hoping this is good. If you guys ever played Warship Gunner 2, uh, let me know. It just looks kind of cool from the back, and so that's why I picked it up. I don't know if I'll ever be able to find a manual for it, but, you know, who knows? Maybe one of the other stores, sometime I'll find another copy complete, and then I can put that one up for trade. We'll end here with some Xbox 360 games. Uh, I did not have this one, and I've wanted to get it for a while, but I just never see a copy. And that is XCOM Enemy Within. And it says the Commander Edition, which I'm sure they're all that. Probably all like that. Uh, it was $8. And it is complete with the manual. So I'm looking forward to playing through that. And I have all the XCOM games, which is great. I love that series. I definitely want to replay all of them. So that'll be cool. And I never got to play this one. So definitely looking forward to this. Because this is a standalone expansion to the 2012 uh, XCOM game. So that's cool. I also got here uh, Bioshock uh, Infinite. The complete edition for $15. Has all the DLC on it in the uh, on the other disc. So that's cool. I love these uh, compilations. Now I th had thought for... A couple of years now that I actually didn't complete Bioshock Infinite, but I went back and was looking through my achievements. I actually did beat the game. I mean, it's just it's been that long since I uh, beat the three Bioshock games, but I never did play any of the DLC. Now, I do have all the DLC, of course, on the Xbox One collection, but I do like to have the DLC for the 360 version because I do like to still play those, even though I have the new ones. You know, I would like to sometime go back and play them. And I like whenever I can find complete editions of games that have that physical DLC because I have it saved on a disc that I can have forever because eventually, you know, the Microsoft 360 uh, support is going to drop and all that content will be gone. And one day you won't be able to re-download your digital content if you don't have it backed up and saved. So that's why I like to have these for the collection. So really cool. Definitely want to play through those three uh, DLC packs on there. So very cool. Looking forward to that. Another one here. Was excited to see it was also fifteen dollars, but you know I got the twenty percent off. It is L.A. Noir, but this is the complete edition, which comes with all the uh, DLC, so you get access to all the uh, L.A. Noir add-on content. Five additional cases ranging from traffic to arson. So you got the badge pursuit, the Broderick uh, detective suit, the sharpshooter detective suit, the Chicago piano. So that's pretty cool. It comes in this nice little uh, collectible case because I saw it there. I didn't know what the hell it was. I thought maybe it was a special edition of L.A. Noir because my brother bought this on uh, day one and he beat it and then he gave it to me as a uh, gift. And so I never even knew about this version that came out later with all the content on it. So that was pretty cool. It's in this nice little collectible case here. Got the manual and all four uh, discs. So the three games on one and then the extra content on that fourth disc. So very cool. Like I said, I didn't even know they had this version. So that was really cool to see. I just happened to see regular. They had a regular version next to it uh, for the same price. And I saw this bigger one. So I pulled that out and saw that it said the complete edition. And looked on the back. Oh, it has extra content in it, which I don't have for my regular copy. So <laughs> that was an awesome find there. So that's really cool. Did not know that. This was a really good game. I really enjoyed this one. So that's cool. And then the final one here was the most expensive pickup, but I got 20% off and I had that $35 saved up and I used that to take off of this. So I got this uh, for a good price and that is another Nintendo Wii U, which 
I already have a Wii U, but I wanted to have one more console as a backup. You know, I've been talking to my buddy Dean, Escape to Gaming. You know, we talk a lot, and we had both been talking about backup consoles and how, you know, I want to have backup consoles for game consoles I play because they do have, you know, where they could break down, especially the more modern consoles. Not so much the older ones, but the newer ones can. And as far as, like, Xbox goes, I have the original Xbox One, day one edition. I got my brother's Xbox One S he gave me as a Christmas gift a few years ago. And then I bought his Xbox One X. So I actually have three Xbox Ones to keep me there. So I got plenty of backup for there. I've got one PS4, but once my brother buys a PS5, I'm actually going to buy his PS4 Pro. So I'll have two of those. So... I wanted to get a backup for my Wii U because I still love it. I know not everybody was a big fan of the Wii U, and they're like, you know, I'm sure some people would be like, hey, you shouldn't waste the money buying another Wii U, but I wanted to have another one as a backup console. And, you know, I don't know, I might hack it. So, like I said, it was 150 but I got $35 off of it with that, plus 20% off. So, like, under $100, I got another one, which is great. I've been looking for another Wii U for so long. But it is so hard to find these at my local game stores because they sell so fast. Literally, a guy saw me buying it. He's like, oh, I wanted to get it. They're like, sorry, man. He was here first. Like, He's like, you just missed it by literally 25 seconds. So it was that's, And they had literally just put it out for sale when I had got there in the store. The guy's like, oh, yeah, this just came in like half an hour ago. Before you got here, we just priced it and put it out. That, that's how fast they sell. So I'm so glad to get that. Of course, it came with the cords. I didn't have an HDMI cord. It came with the... Um, component cables i have tons of hdmi cords so that doesn't matter it's got the power brick for the uh, console it's got the power brick for the uh game pad and of course it has uh the game pad which is a great deal because these game pads sell for like 100 to 150 bucks and online these are going for between 140 to 250 dollars depending if it has box or if it's a special version or if it comes with games or something so so glad i tested everything out works great so now i have a backup wii u so that is just awesome so glad to get that and like i said it didn't really cost me anything because i got money from everybody for my uh, birthday and i do have one last thing here before i forget great find for this i have an old xbox 360 i actually have a couple of the old xbox 360s they don't have built-in wireless but you have the wireless adapters now online people want 30 and 40 dollars for it i'm not freaking paying that so I knew that at my local game stores get them occasion, they usually price them around 10 bucks, and that's what they did. They had one here. This is the white one. Now, there's a black one to go with the Black Elites that has uh, two little antennas. I don't know if it works a little bit better, maybe. Uh, they had that one uh, for 20 bucks. So you know, I can always go back and get another one. But I'd like to have an Xbox 360 in my bedroom to play, but I don't want to have to run a freaking 100-foot... H or H or geez, Ethernet cord into the freaking bedroom to hook it up to the internet. So I knew eventually I'd get the um, adapter. Now I could always, you know, play my newer. I have some of the 360e model and the other ones that have the built-in wireless. But I like playing on my old original 360 because that has all my saves and everything on there. So I wanted to get the wireless adapter for it, and I did get it. So that was awesome. So there you guys go. That's all my wonderful gifts I got for my birthday. Thanks to everybody giving me my money. You know, my parents, my wife's parents, my wife, people at work, my brother. I really appreciate everybody that gave me stuff. So awesome. And, you know, I just had, I had a great birthday. I didn't have to work. Got some wonderful uh, gifts here. And, you know, started out with 2021 has been a good year for me, especially with uh, gaming. So that is awesome. I want to thank you guys for watching. Take care. Have a wonderful day and sleepy. We'll see you guys next time.